Hello everyone. So here is a quick tutorial of how to make an interactive component. Now this feature is not available for all um, Figma users yet. It's still in its uh, beta stage. So I guess we have to be very patient for Figma to uh, make it available. But for now, I will show you how to go about creating an interactive component um, of a button. So you press F. F is to create a frame. Create a frame. Say 25 by 25. I'll duplicate that frame. Then extend the width by 40. Give it a corner radius of 42. Also, this 40. Then a stroke of 1. Make it outside. Same goes for this stroke of 1. It outside. Then we bring the frame one into frame two. Automatically, it brings the frame um, one above the frame two. So we have frame one and frame two. Then we select all this and duplicate. Now to duplicate, you hold down Option, the Option key. Sorry, select all, hold down Option, duplicate. Now for this, you duplicate this also. You move it to the left, to the right. Make sure it's completely to the left. Duplicate this. Make sure you're holding the option key to duplicate. Then you give this a different color. Save this. Take out the stroke. And send it to the back of this. Send this to the back of this. Then move it, you move it to the left hand side. And move this to the right hand side. So you have this. So now you can now extend this to the right, fully to the right. So you have your frame 2 and frame 3. You can rename this frame as off and rename this as on. So you have your on and off button. Now before we can move further, we need to convert this element to component. So you select this. You create components. There are two ways to go about it. Is that you right click? And you create components or you click you select all of it and you click on this it's still the same thing same goes for this create components i want to go i want to do the interaction in between them go to prototype this now let me you tell Telling Figma that on click, you should navigate to the on button. Now take it to Smart and Ignite. Is out. Um, this should be. This is 200 ms, which is perfectly okay. Same goes for the other button. Send it back. On click, navigate to off. Smart and Ignite. Is out. Same thing. And you are good to go. Now let's run the prototype. And depending on how slow or how fast the network is, I see. So this component allows it saves you time for saves you time while developing an app or mobile app or a web interface. So this is all you have. This is the final result. Thank you.